Did Quavo confirm the rumor that Saweetie slept with Offset? Also, Corey Hardrick is shutting down the rumors that he cheated on Tia Maori. To find out more in this video, stay tuned. Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Now word on the street is Saweetie slept with Offset behind Quavo's back and Quavo may have confirmed this tea. Now just to give some context, last year Quavo and Saweetie broke up and their breakup was pretty messy. They were taking shots at each other on social media. It was alleged that Quavo cheated on Saweetie and Saweetie kind of alluded to this and she broke up with him. Now, after that breakup, Saweetie was kind of in her city girl savage mode because she started messing around with the rapper Lil Baby. And I think she did that to get under Quavo's skin. She wanted to get her lick back because she knew that Quavo and his group, the Migos, had some tension with Lil Baby because allegedly Lil Baby's crew got into it with Offset. So it was kind of messy on Saweetie's part to mess with Lil Baby, but once again, she was in her savage mode, and I think she was really trying to hurt Quavo because he hurt her. Now, there was also some other rumors going around that Saweetie allegedly messed around with Offset. The streets were buzzing about this for a little while. In fact, a stylist named Khalil revealed this tea when he was going back and forth with Cardi B. And It's On Site reposted his tweet and he said, Offset F Saweetie, do you really wanna discuss husbands? Now this of course was a huge bombshell because first of all, it looks crazy that Offset was cheating on Cardi with his group member's girl. And this really shows that Offset is not loyal at all. He constantly cheats on his wife Cardi B and he played Quavo. Quavo is not only supposed to be his homeboy, but that's his family, that's his cousin. So the fact that he messed with Quavo's girl or his ex-girl is really foul. And I'm only saying this is foul if the rumors are true, because once again, I don't know if the rumors are true, but if it is true, it actually explains why the Migos broke up this year. And from the looks of it, Quavo is definitely not open to reuniting with Offset. We want to see our career as a duo, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So we just stand on loyalty, you know what I mean? We stand on real deal, real deal loyalty. And you know, sometimes that shit ain't displayed. And this ain't got nothing to do with no label, no paperwork, no QC, no nothing. Now Quavo and Takeoff from the Migos have an album out called Only Built For Infinity Links. And on the album, there's a song called Messy. And Quavo said this in his verse. He said, I said, Carisha, please, cause she too messy. BF my dog behind my back, but I'm not stressing. You wanted the gang, you should have said it. We would have blessed it. So what is Quavo referring to? Well, first of all, Quavo seems to be fueling the rumors that Saweetie messed around with Offset. And he also referenced Carisha Please. Now, Saweetie did recently sit down on Carisha Please and talked about her relationship with Quavo. And she said that she was actually depressed over the breakup. She admitted that she really loved Quavo and she thought they were gonna be together forever. But Quavo seems to be calling her out and he's calling her messy for messing with Offset, allegedly. So the situation is really a hot mess. And I do think both Quavo and Saweetie were acting out of hurt and they're acting out of spite. I think Saweetie was hurt that Quavo cheated on her and she tried to get back at him and she was moving a little sloppy. I will admit, I do like Saweetie, but I don't agree with how she was moving. And Quavo is being messy for fueling these rumors as well. I know he's doing this for publicity, so he knows what he's doing. He's trying to embarrass Saweetie and Offset, so he's being spiteful as well. However, the most foul person in the situation to me is Offset. Offset is disloyal, he can't be trusted. And now that I think about it, it's very possible that Offset was lusting after Saweetie the whole time while she was with Quavo. Offset and Cardi used to hang out with Saweetie and Quavo all the time. And I know Offset was sitting back there thinking, man, I wish I could get with that. 
I mean, I know he had to be lusting after her for a while. And the situation is just messy. And it also explains why Cardi B never really got close to Saweetie like that. I think Cardi kind of sensed the energy between them. I think she kind of had a feeling that Offset may have been eyeing Saweetie. And that probably explains her awkwardness around Saweetie. I don't know. Once again, we don't know if this rumor is true. This could be Quavo's way of trying to gain publicity. So he is fueling the rumors, but we don't know if Saweetie was actually messing with Offset. But I'll tell you one thing, it's a very juicy rumor. Now moving on, there have been a few updates on Tia Maori and Corey Hardrick's impending divorce. Now, I did cover this story when it first dropped. Tia confirmed that she is divorcing Corey after 14 years of marriage. And this of course was a huge shock to me because I really, really adore Tia and Corey together. But one thing I noticed since the divorce announcement is Corey has been getting dragged a lot. A lot of people are blaming Corey for the breakup. I've seen some narratives going around that Tia left Corey because she was tired of being the breadwinner. Now it is true that Tia definitely was holding down the relationship financially for years. In fact, when she first met Corey, Corey was a struggling actor and she had already been established at that time from her role on Sister Sister. However, Tia didn't really care that Corey didn't have money like that. I mean, she loved him for him and she dated him for nine years and she married him and they stayed together for 14 years. Now, I could imagine that maybe Corey was discontent at some points in the relationship because it can kind of be a struggle for a man if he is not bringing in as much money as his wife. However, Corey has been booking roles consistently in the past few years. He starred in the show, The Oath. He acted in The Shy for two years and also he's currently on the show, All American. So he has been booking roles and he has done some movies too. So I don't think money was a factor in this breakup. It may have caused some tension at some points, but Corey did end up bringing money into the relationship as well. So I don't think Tia left because she was tired of being the breadwinner. Also, a lot of people were saying that Corey did something wrong. Corey cheated on Tia. In my mind, I knew that couldn't have been the case because when Tia filed for divorce, she said she filed for irreconcilable differences. So no infidelity was mentioned. Also, Tia was recently supporting Corey under his latest post, which was like a couple of days ago. So I don't think she would be publicly supporting him like that if he cheated on her. And Corey had to shut down that narrative too. When somebody said, why y'all blaming him? Someone else said he cheated on her and he said lies. So he's letting the public know that he didn't do what they're accusing him of. Now, Corey did make an interesting post on his IG story ahead of the divorce announcement. He said, acting off of emotions will cost you every time. Now, a lot of people felt like he was taking a shot at Tia, but I think he was talking about himself. I think maybe he and Tia had a bad blow up. I think they had an argument and this could have very well been one of many different arguments. And Tia probably put her hands up in the situation and said, you know what, I'm done with this relationship. And for Tia to get to that point lets me know that she checked out of the relationship. I feel like she might've been unhappy for a while. She probably feels like she wasn't being cherished or appreciated. And I also think the love kind of left. I think she probably fell out of love. That was my initial thought when I first heard the divorce announcement. And listen, I don't know everything. I'm just speculating myself. So I don't exactly know what triggered this divorce, but something had to happen for Tia to just give up. And what's interesting is there was an interview that surfaced and this was an interview that Tia did recently. And she made some very interesting comments. This is what she said. What, what is it? You know what it is? It's self-love. Okay. I'm really, really just focusing on setting boundaries. And they're hard to do sometimes. Very. I mean, I'm in my 40s and I'm just now learning. So 40 wear, but continue. All of you ladies out there, no matter how old you are, start now. It's, it's really giving me peace, joy. Yeah, so I would say that. So in that interview, Tia talked about having self-love and also setting boundaries. 
So it sounds like Tia is at a point where she's putting her foot down and she's no longer allowing herself to be walked all over. She simply checked out of the relationship and I kind of think Corey checked out as well. I could be wrong, but I think he too drifted away. They both drifted away and they're at a point where it's not working for them anymore and the love is not the same. So the only thing that could really fix this relationship is if they go to counseling and really make some changes in their communication and their behavior. That's the only thing I think can really save the marriage. But if they choose not to be together, then that's their choice. But it seems to me like Tia is gone and she ain't looking back. And I think Tia is ready to be single. She's been in this relationship since she was 20 years old and now she's in her 40s. And that's a lot of time to be in a relationship and people can change in that long period of time. So maybe she wants to be free and she wants to discover herself and find out who she is as a newly single woman. And who knows, maybe Tia and Corey might get back together sometime down the line. That's just my hope. I would wish for a happy ending for these two, but if it doesn't get to that point, then it's okay too. I just wish them both the best. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.